Tour de Hood is located less than half a mile from Texas Southern University in the Third Ward area of Houston, Texas. It has provided bikes for neighborhood rides in Houston, and here you will see where Tour de Hood has sponsored a day of canoeing down Buffalo Bayou with over two dozen participants. All the gear and equipment was provided, along with the boats, canoes, and kayaks, and once everything was prepared, both volunteers and participants would help load everything up before we headed downtown. We would get our pre-flight instructions from Dr. Vion McReynolds over Institutional Research at Texas Southern. He would give us all the ins and outs of what to look for, what to anticipate, how to avoid capsizing, and how we can be prepared with the proper fitting of our gear and equipment. There were plenty of vests for everyone, and some even brought their own. We all made sure that we were adequately secure so that everything would be thumb tight. As we arrived downtown at Buffalo Bayou, we could see that construction was going on as part of a city project. With all the help that we had, we had no problem getting our gear and equipment down to the landing where we would enter Buffalo Bayou. We had among us those who were seasoned veterans of water sports, some who even brought their own canoes, gear, and equipment. But it was a group of very diverse backgrounds, as we had in our midst a journalist, even those who were young and old, those who were canoeing for the first time. It was a great morning to cool out, kick back, relax, and get to know one another. But we were full of anticipation of what we would explore. The place where we would start our journey down Buffalo Bayou was just under the main street bridge, upon which the Houston Metro Rail runs right across from University of Houston downtown. This is all right over and behind the spaghetti warehouse. One might detect being watched by some of the harmless wildlife that gathered nearby that stood as spectators as they let us show them how it was done. We started off in good fashion, and one of the gentlemen who started in a kayak was able to find rescue by one of the seasoned veterans as he fell off into the water. He then joined his family in the back of the boat, and they were well on their way. The wildlife would understand from the demographics of our story that the men were more inclined to put ourselves at risk. We all needed a little excitement in our lives, and it just allows us to stand tall and show our manhood. But imagine navigating Buffalo Bayou during the more tumultuous weather patterns when the high water lodges the branches of large trees on the other side of the bridge that passes to and from I-10. Everyone was able to go at their own pace and really take their time to enjoy their journey down Buffalo Bayou. One gentleman even had a foot-powered kayak with a rudder in the back for him to steer so he didn't even have to use his paddle. Here and there we would just drift, close enough to be neighborly, and stop from time to time to take pictures of the beautiful scenery. We would canoe past Sabine Park, the Aquarium, the Theater District, and Sam Houston Park, where homes from the 1800s still stand in historical contrast to the multi-million dollar skyscrapers of our modern era. Although it's quite romantic to take a walking tour after some of Houston's nightlife, the area adjacent to Houston Grand Opera becomes a staging area to many boating events on Buffalo Bayou. Here near the corner of Bagby and Franklin, you can feel yourself being watched by the stately likeness of former President George Herbert Walker Bush. You can promenade across the bayou, go running on some of the lush trails, enjoy biking or sightseeing even if there are no otherwise events, like this couple who brought their dogs for a stroll near the amphitheater area by the bayou. In this same area, a frisbee was found in the bayou's water, and these two gentlemen picked it up. And of their creation, a new frisbee water sport was born. Oh yes, it was a zippity doo da zippity a kind of day. You can trust that I and everyone all were left with a treasured story and a song on our heart from living the good life. Our journey would go from the Main Street Bridge near Commerce, along the Buffalo Bayou, all the way to Sabine Street near Allen Parkway and back. We were accompanied on our journey by Louis Olback, who's written a collection of many articles on Houston's rich history along Buffalo Bayou. He offers that the bayou's name results from the area's once plentiful buffalo fish, or the bison that once roamed the area and whose bones have been excavated in several sites along the bayou. Our thanks goes to Dr. Vion McReynolds for organizing this Tour de Hood event and for inviting us to join him canoeing down Buffalo Bayou. He handpicked a sweet and delicious fresh fruit ensemble, fresh from the farmer's market, and had it waiting for us when we got back from the end of our journey. Of over two dozen participants, Yodit Jacob, who was joining this group for the first time, stepped forward to give her testimony. Thanks for inviting me today. I enjoyed myself with this group. We went out canoeing out in the bayou, got a chance to meet some folks from Tour of the Hood, 
I think I want to do some more work with the organization. It's been a beautiful day and met some interesting folks. Thanks. We extend our gratitude to those contributors who helped make this event possible, the sponsors of Tour de Hood, the volunteers and participants who rode their boats down the stream, and may all watch for Tour de Hood coming to a neighborhood near you. Brought to you in part by Craig Anthony Nicholas, MrCan.net.